How's it going, everybody? Today, I'm going to teach the basics of chassis swapping cars on Roblox in the studio. So, first of all, I have a chassis here. I will plug this into the script description. It has all the necessities you need. It has working door parts. It has seats with first person gauges, working dash, working lights. These are click detectors for the MISC, and that is about it. So, I'm going to find a car here for us to swap, and we're going to get into it. Let's do a Supra. So, here is the main car. Now, first thing you want to do is, if you're going to full swap a car, you want to go in here and get the engine file. Just control C that. Then go over here to your chassis, plugins, sound mod, rev, and plug it into here. So, that is situated. Also, this chassis has drift mode on it, where it alters a tire friction based on... Yeah. And then also, additionally, um, there is a mass plugin where you can make the entire body massless, and then the car has mass to it, which it keeps a low center of gravity. So, we have the body here for the Supra. This has first person on it as well, so... Is this the... This should be the boot, I think. That is not the boot, so... Right now, what I'm doing is I'm seeing all the parts that we have here, so we can just delete these because we have our own headlight script. And then, yeah, so this is the left door, I assume. And then these are right the lights. That should be, yep. Okay, reverse lights. Delete those. Those are signals. Delete the plate because we don't need that. And we can delete these drag plugins. Now, this should be like a phone or something, I think. Yeah, we can get rid of that. So, now this model is the main part of the car. Now, all we need is this model here. So, you're going to put this model into the body. And then we can delete the old body. Now, now that that's done, we can work through the model, and we need to fit it on the chassis. So, I'm just going to slide this down here. And I have my move tool to 0 0.01, so that it isn't very choppy. Like, say here, I'm going to put this to 1. Now watch what it does. It makes it really choppy and stuff, so put that to a low number. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to move this over a little bit. I want to align the front wheels with the thing, so this is looking pretty good. And that is about it. So we already have the light plug in here, but we need to fit the lights, so I'm going to scale these down a little bit. And there are light models included in this, so I usually just keep these about the wheels. And yeah, that is good. So, now we can go over here to the wheels, the rear wheels. Move these up a little bit. To fit them in there. And now we can adjust this, this the actual track width. So we want to get this as close as you can on both sides. It's not going to be perfect, obviously, but we want to get it as close as you can so it doesn't affect vehicle handling. front left here. This is a basic video. I'll give advanced stuff later, like how to add the plugins to your chassis existing and stuff. So yeah, now here's the uh, important part. You want to go into the model. I'm going to ungroup this, ungroup this. Now, you need to get all the parts. In this case, they're all under the same model. Make them massless. There is a massless plugin over here, this right here, this is the car's mass. You can resize this based on what the car's mass actually is, obviously, and the surface area of the car, so I'm going to make this a little smaller, for, for example. And you want it to be just above the wheel line here, so that is good. Next, we want to get the dash working, so we are going to come to the interior here, delete this interior because the car already has it, and then there is in 
miscellaneous steering wheel. Now we can take this mesh part of it and put it to one so it is invisible. And then we can go over here to the dash, move the dash over a little bit, move it back, and move it down. And the dash is in place. Now this is not a perfect fit, obviously. I'm just doing a rough around the edges tutorial. You can get this a lot better than how I have it now. But that actually is a lot better. I'm gonna move it back there like that. But here, just a second. Okay, that's a lot better. So our dash is in place. It should work once we drive the car. So next, well, that's about it actually. So I will add. I will make another tutorial on how to add working doors. For now, we just want a working car. So I want to drive seat right here. Move this over. Move it back. Now, is there a seat in there? There is not. Perfect. So we can go over here. I got it. I got it. And the seats are in place. Give me a second. So now we're going to play test and see how it works. Now, if you did this correctly, the car shouldn't glitch out or anything, but since you're in going into workspace, the car chassis can be a little buggy and the wheels can stick out. Since you're inserting it six as like with no suspension, that's what AC3 Jassy is, so if that happens to you, then that's the reason behind it. And once you put it like once you insert it as a slot, it'll be or like or whatever, it'll be fine. So Okay, the drive seat's in a bad position, but does the engine sound work? Engine sound works. Let me just change this. So Yeah, the sound works, that's good. Does the interior cam work? Yes, it does. Does the gauge work? Gauge works. Of course, this is a this is a weird tune, but yeah, the lights work. Uh, does it? Does the headlights work? The headlights do work. So this is pretty good actually. It handles pretty well. Does drift mode work? Uh, actually, let's change the horsepower before we can do that. So what the tuning aspect of the car is. So, if you want to know how to tune your car, now this this is a part of the video you want to watch. So, I'm going to double click a chassis tune inside of your chassis. Then over here, this is the wheel alignment. The caster is basically the angle degree that you have and it can help with turn and response. Same with front and rear. Uh, the rear can help with oversteer, front same thing. Uh, cam camber, it typically makes your cars more uncontrollable with this chassis rather than controllable. So this stable, the stabilizer gyro you don't need to worry about. This is steering torque. This indicates the, um, the roughness of how fast your car turns in, how much it, it stays turning in. This is the d degrees of, this. these two are degrees of your turning. This, the inner is the inner wheel. The outer is the outer wheel when you're turning. Steer speed, 0.15 seconds. Per, per uh, blah, darn it. Point one five studs at me. I'm sorry. Okay, steer decay is SPS of grading cutoff as usual. Um, now here's the engine tuning. Now this was way too much horsepower, so I'm getting rid of that. So let's try 700. That'll be fine. Now I'm gonna give this a bit of a more acceleration based tune, and I'm gonna keep it. I'll make it rear wheel drive. So that's that. Now we need to move the drive seat over because it was in a weird spot, of course. And we can play test again. Now there's this commit button over here because I'm working in Team Create. So if you're gonna export your car in Team Create, be sure you click that thing, the script, and commit it. So here we go again with the tune on it. Now, since the tune's in the car, it'll behave a lot different, so you'll be able to notice. So, 
There we are inside now. The camera's a little buggy again, but... Okay, that gauge is weird, but it works. It's working. So, T, turn off traction control. And, yeah. It's a rear wheel drive, so it's a little buggy, of course. Did I turn off traction control? I think I did. Okay, I might need to make the... Okay, so, this here is an instance where the mass is not enough in the car when you're sliding really quick like this, so... First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this all-wheel drive. Now, I'm going to fix this here. Try to get the shadow right on it. Okay, now we can come over here to the mass plug and thing. Well, the mass part. Oh. We can extend this, and this is non-collidable, so you aren't actually going to, like, it's not going to hit anything, it's just the mass of the car. All the weight of the car is concentrated here. So it makes the handling really good on them. And that's always a plus in my, in my instances. So, here we go, take number three. And it should be working. There we go. We are inside the car, first person camera. As you can see, the acceleration is a little bit slower. So, drift on, traction control off. Now, it's pretty slight, actually, so. Yeah. Yeah. It is working. Okay, there might be an issue, actually. Give me a second. Okay, yep, the, I, I, I figured it out. The mass part was actually massless, which is not what you want. That's why the thing is tripping up so much. When the car is massless, it handles way better than it does when it weighs something. Which, ironically, that's not how it works in real life, because the heavier a car is, the more it's pressed into the ground, the harder it is to drift. But... You know, Roblox is Roblox, and that's how it'll be. So, now, it should work. There is a noticeable difference now. And we can turn off traction control, and it slides. It slides decently well, in fact. Then we can turn it back on, and back off, and it grips. Just like that. Lights work. It's pretty cool. Go back inside, you just work. And that's about it. This is a basic basic and kind of advanced chassis tutorial. It may take you more more than one playthrough to go through, and that's completely fine with you. It took me quite a while to get to here and yeah. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.